hello and welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking into an alternate method of decoding NOAA weather satellite images in this method we, we would be recording an audio file in wave format of the actual pass this audio file will have the timestamp of the pass the WX2 IMG software requires a sampling rate of 11025. And so we would be resampling this original wave file in Audacity software with a sampling rate of 11025. The output of uh, the Audacity software will be a resampled wave file with sampling rate of 11025, but it will have a different timestamp. WX2 IMG software requires an audio file with the same timestamp as that of the pass to correctly build overlay maps and so we need to copy the timestamp from the original wave file and write it to the resampled wave file with sampling rate of 11025 which we created using audacity this will be done in noaa-apt application noaa-apt application is capable of decoding the images but it does not have the features of overlay maps and false colors but it does have a feature in which it can copy a timestamp from a particular audio file and write it to some other audio file. And that's what we are going to do. We are going to copy the timestamp from the original wave file and write it to the resampled wave file, which was the output of Audacity software. The output file will be a resampled wave file with sampling rate of 11025 with timestamp that matches the timestamp of the pass. This wave file will be open in WX2 IMG software which would give us the final image. The final image will have a map overlay and also it will be capable of all the enhancements that are available in WX to IMG software. So let's see the process in detail. So the pass has started and we are going to click on record in the recording. We are going to download the audio file. We will fast forward the pass. Uh, the audio file is getting downloaded. The next step is we will open audacity. In that uh, we will open the audio file that was downloaded in the SDR shop folder this is the file now here we are going to change uh, the sampling rate of the file so uh, first what we are going to do is split the stereo track into mono track uh, for that I'm going to select uh, the drop down menu and then split stereo to mono this will split the file and i will just delete one of the tracks so we basically want a, a mono track mono track i have selected the the track and then i'm going to resample it to 11025 this is the sampling rate that wx2 img requires after the sampling is over, I'm going to make the project rate as 11025 and then I'm going to export it as a WAV file. I'm going to save uh, this particular resampled file into the audio folder of WX2 IMG.
so the audio file has been exported I'm going to open NOAA-APT application now this application will be used uh, to change the timestamp of uh, the file that we resampled just now so original pass had an original file which had the timestamp of the pass after we resampled it the audio file might have a different audio stamp and we need to make the timestamp of this resampled file to that of the original pass which will enable us to get map overlay properly in wx2 img so i have selected uh, the original file that was downloaded during the pass and now i am selecting the resampled audio file that we did in audacity so the upper file is the original pass file from where i'm going to read the timestamp and the lower file is the one which we resampled in audacity i'm going to write the timestamp uh, onto it so it has been done and now we go to wx2 img and now we are going to open uh, the file uh, before that uh, the options resync and crop telemetry has been selected and uh, the MSA multi spectral analysis enhancement has been selected so whenever the file is open these uh, options will be applicable to it and we'll get a final uh, image so I'm just going to open this file now this file is the resampled one with the corrected timestamp so the file will open there will be a map overlay uh, and there will be all the enhancement that we selected earlier applied to it so this is the final image now you can do a lot of uh, things on this image like you can adjust the contrast of this image and uh, here you can see that the map overlay was not perfect so you can select uh, the option and uh, you can actually change the map overlay as I'm doing here here you can see that the map overlay has been corrected the option was move move map overlay in the image now I am doing a, a contrast adjustment and also you can uh, you can do all sorts of uh, changes uh, I had previously selected a noise filter which I am removing so that the image will uh, pop out a little bit so this is my final image you can save the raw image And we can save uh, the image as a JPEG also. Now we can do different kinds of enhancements on it. There is a whole uh, big list of enhancements that you can do. Uh, right now I have selected uh, the thermal enhancement and you can see the thermal map which is extracted from the same data. Likewise uh, you can save uh, the thermal image and you can do even more enhancements and extract those files from the data and save them so like for example sea surface temperature is another enhancement that you can do and you can save the file like before so what we basically did here was we downloaded an audio file from the pass now that audio file has got a timestamp of the pass itself at a later stage, 
we resampled that audio file in audacity with 11025 as the sampling grade which is required by wx2 img to properly decode the image now when we do the resampling in audacity the timestamp of that wave file might get changed at that particular time so the original pass was at different time and the resampled file will be of a different time and that's why we do the reading of the timestamp of the original wave file and write that timestamp to the resampled audio file using NOAA APT uh, application and then open this new resampled audio file with the timestamp of the uh, actual pass open it into the wx2 img so that it can it can decode the file properly and also have a correct map overlay on it i hope you like this video please like and subscribe thank you